Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So myself Prakshit Desai, a final year MEBS student studying in Divya Patil Medical College, Kolhapur. So today we are going to dive into a most awaited video and that is which books you should use for your MBBS journey. Whether you are in your first year of MBBS or you are just preparing for your final year of MBBS. I have covered all of them. So let's dive into the books which you should prefer for your MBBS journey. So I have divided the books into two parts. One is your theoretical books and the other is your clinical clinical books so first i'm going to talk about the theoretical books and then the second part i'll be talking about your clinical books but before that i would like to tell you guys that which subjects are there throughout your mbbs journey so starting from your first year so in your first year you have anatomy physiology biochemistry and along with anatomy you'll be having histology and embryology so these are the subjects of the first year then coming to the second year you will be having pharmacology then uh, pathology and microbiology these are the subjects these three subjects are there for your second year of mbbs then coming to your third year of mbbs in third year you have four subjects and that is your community medicine then forensic medicine then your ent and ophthalmology these are four subjects of your third year of mbbs then coming to the final year in final year you have four subjects and the first one is your general medicine and the other is your general surgery then ops and gynae and the last is pediatrics so these are the four subjects in your final year of mbbs and along with these major subjects you also have your minor subjects too and those are your dermatology then orthopedics then radiology then your anesthesia and psychiatry so these are the five minor subjects which you will be having along with your major subjects so yeah these are all the subjects which you will be having in your mbbs journey so let's get in into the video so let's start with your basics and that is your first year and in first year you will be having three subjects that is your anatomy physiology and biochemistry so the king of the first year is definitely anatomy for this you have two main options the first one is the grace anatomy for students which is a great for understanding the subject with detailed illustrations the other book which i'll suggest you is the bd chaurasia human anatomy which has four volumes and it is in perfect for exam preparation with simpler language and to the point explanation if you are more of a visual learner then you might also have to check out the atlas of human anatomy by neeter it's got amazing illustrations Along with this book you can also go for surface and radiology anatomy by Helim which has a good explanation about the surface anatomy and radiology which is required to understand the anatomy so also you have textbook of general anatomy by Shobha Ravlani which you can go through so also along with this all books you also have one more book and that is principle of clinical genetics by Yogesh Sontake then for embryology you can go through Indrabir Singh and for histology you can go through GP Pal then the next is the physiology and my top recommendation is LPR this is one of the best book which i purchased and it has an easy language to understand and to learn similarly we have one more other book and that is sambulingam which is simpler and a more concise version you can also go through the essentials of medical physiology by sambulingam then the most standard book is Guyton and Hall textbook of medical physiology which is comprehensive and trusted worldwide then biochemistry can get a bit tricky but this book helps you to make it manageable and that is satyanarayan which is a biochemistry book which is best for its clear diagrams and easy to understand content the other book which you can also have in biochemistry is vasudevan textbook of biochemistry it's another solid choice especially for exam oriented studies so this was all the subjects of your first year of mbbs now we'll go to the second year of mbbs and in second year you will be having again three subjects and that is your pharmacology pathology and microbiology so in pharmacology my go to is kd triparty it's well organized and covers the drugs and their mechanisms in a way that ticks then the other book in pharmacology is shanbag and it's an another solid choice especially for exam oriented studies so for pathology i recommend robins and cotran pathologic basics of disease it's detailed but explains 
the concept in such a way that you truly understands the mechanism behind the thesis. For a more exam focused approach, Harsh Mohan textbook of pathology is a good alternative. Along with this book, you get the pathology quick review by Harsh Mohan. For microbiology, Apurva Shastri is the classic book and it covers everything from bacteria to virology. So these were all the subjects of your second year of MBBS and now we are going to the third year of MBBS and in third year we have four subjects and that is your community medicine, forensic medicine, then ENT and ophthalmology. Community medicine can feel a bit dry but Park's textbook of preventive and social medicine is the bible for this subject. It's comprehensive and covers everything from epidemiology to health programs. Similarly, we have the other book by name Surya Kanta which is also a good book if you find Park textbook of preventive and social medicine difficult to read then you can go for this book as this book has an easy language. For exam oriented learning I would suggest you to go for short notes in community medicine by PVD Shetty. So for ENT Dingra disease of ear, nose and throat is the standard book. It's concise but has everything you needed and it is very easy to read and understand one of the best book ever in ophthalmology Kurana's comprehensive ophthalmology is the book which everyone turns to it's well structured and perfect for both theory and practical exams the other book in ophthalmology is Parson disease of the eye which is also a good book to clear your concepts for forensic medicine you should go for the essentials of forensic medicine and toxicology by Red D it's not the most exciting subject but this book simplifies it quite a bit better. The other book for forensic medicine and toxicology is Principles of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology by Rajesh Bardali, which is the best book to go with as it is very easy to understand. For exam oriented learning, I would suggest you to go for Forensic Medicine and Jurisprudence and Toxicology at a glance by Singha. So these were all the subjects of your third year of MBBS and now we are going into the final year of MBBS and in final year, we have again four major subjects subjects and those are general medicine then we have general surgery then we have ops and gynae and the last one is the pediatrics and yes of course along with this we have the minor subjects too and those are your dermatology orthopedics anesthesia psychiatry and radiology medicine is a vast subject but the classic choice is davidson's principles and practice of medicine if you want something more comprehensive then go for harrison's principle of internal medicine which is mostly used by pg students and for exam oriented learning you can go through medicine prep manual for under graduates by K. George Matthew. For surgery, Belly and Love Short Practice of Surgery is the gold standard. It covers both theory and clinical aspects in a very digestible way. The other book for surgery is SRB's Manual of Surgery by Sriram Bhartam. For obstetrics and gynecology, you can go through B.C. Dutta textbook of obstetrics and so also you can also go for gynecology for the other book and that is Shaw's textbook of gynecology. They are the great for both exams and practicals. When it comes to pediatrics, OP guys essential of pediatrics is a straightforward and covers the basic well. For orthopedics, you should go through essential orthopedics by Maheshwari. So for dermatology, you should go for illustrated synopsis of dermatology and sexual transmitted diseases by Nina Khanna. So yeah, these were all the theoretical books which you should prefer and you must have in your MBBS journey and along with this, you should have clinical books books too. So let's go through the clinical books which you should have in your MBBS journey. So for your cadaveric skill lab, you should go through Cunningham which has three volumes which is the best book to learn anatomy. Then in pharmacology for quick revision of all these book drugs, you have a small book which is pharmacological classification of drugs with doses and preparations by KD Tripathi. Then for clinical medicine, I will suggest you three books and the first one will be PJ Mehta Practical Medicine. So this book will clear all your basics. So once you are done with this book, then go for the Insider's Guide to Clinical Medicine by Bullard, which is like an advanced version of PJ Mehta, I can say. And it has detailed information about examinations and good pictures. Then once you are done with this book, go for 
bedside clinics in medicine by arup kumar kundu which has two parts so the first part includes all your tray viva questions instruments ecg x-ray like stuff and second part includes the cases which is good to understand clinically then for clinical surgery i will suggest you a manual of clinical surgery by s das which is a perfect book to learn clinical cases and examination part then for obstetrics i'll suggest you clinical obstetrics by mudalier and manans then for pediatrics you should go for pediatric clinical examination by santosh kumar or you can also go through pediatric clinical methods by mehrban singh so if you found this video helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this comment below if you have any specific book recommendation or if you want to see some more tips of mbbs good luck for your studies and i'll see you soon in the next video the fine print i've got baggage and it's all gucci don't get too attached to me everybody act like the answer one love like in the movies wasting precious time assuming